good morning everyone so there might come a time that you have an option to expand your business by buying a new asset and those options to buy that asset are three things whether you finance that asset whether you pay it out directly with your own cash and whether or not you lease that asset so i will talk about the worst one first which is going to be leasing Everybody thinks that leasing is some sort of magical write-off that just allows you to do things that financing and buying things with cash doesn't do. And that is not the truth, okay? So typically leases, for the most part, are gonna be considered a capital lease, okay? So a capital lease is when, you know, the lease transfers to you at the end of the, at the, end of the lease term or you get a bargain purchase price at the end of the lease term or your future value of your minimum lease payments is equivalent to 90% or more of the fair market value of the asset. Now that's the one that usually gets people because you can always argue the bargain price, unless of course it does transfer to you at no cost at the end, then you can't argue the bargain price. But leases, even though they don't have an interest rate, they have an interest rate, okay? And you can calculate that interest rate, take the lease term, however long it is, add up all your payments, figure out what your payments are, and you can work the interest backwards. If you are unsure of how to calculate the interest on that, you can ask your banker or your accountant or anybody who's good at math, okay? Now, interest rates on leases, even though they're usually not stated on the contracts, it's gonna be somewhere between 15 and the highest I've seen, I think is 27%. And it might be less than 15%, I've just never seen it. For the most part, you're gonna get a better deal on a loan, okay? So second option would be getting a loan from a bank or some sort of financial institution or something like that. Interest rates right now are about 10%, 11%, somewhere in there. So if you if you don't have the cash and you want to finance it, go ahead and finance it. And by the way, the the write-off for all of these options are is exactly the same. Okay. So a capital lease, a finance, a cash purchase, it's all the same. It's gonna be capitalized, assuming it's over your capitalization policy threshold and it's gonna be amortized over the useful life of the asset or at CRA prescribed CCA rates. So if you can't, if you don't have the money and you wanna finance it, then go ahead and, and get a bank loan if that's what you need to expand your business. If you have the cash, and by having the cash, I mean actually having the cash, not I have a credit card with 19.95% interest on it, but I have cash in the bank. And by the way, if you have that, don't do that pay your card off okay but that's not a invitation to go on a spending spree either so gotta be careful okay so if you got the money pay it for it assuming that you don't have other debt that's a higher interest rate now there is an exception to that if you somehow find a loan that is less than what say a, a going rate on a GIC would be which is a, a no risk investment right now they're at five percent if you find a loan that's less than 5% or maybe at least it's less than 5%, then yes, you should definitely you should definitely do that. Smart money would tell you to do it that way. But, you know, good luck. And if you find a place willing to give you debt for less than 5%, let me know. Because I'll just go take some debt and buy a GIC. So I hope that helps. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends. And be well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all of which are linked in the description below. We're more than just an accounting firm. We do business consulting and media creation for our small businesses. Consider checking us out. It would really mean a lot. Hope to see you soon.